Okay, and got a slightly different setup today, but this is Cass WMS, aka Clay Cass, and let me see if I can get a little more light. Maybe a little, a little. Um, I was at my kind of local Hobby Lobby. <laughs> in uh, Maryland and I discovered they had these um, inks in their clearance department and I was like oh what's this and I looked at it it says sublimation stamp ink you know stamp ink refill and I was like I don't know nothing about this stuff and then someone mentioned the ink at another location or at a at a gathering I was at and it was like yeah man you can uh, make your own patterns with that stuff and I was like what so when I got my first chance to go back to my Hobby Lobby I went back and now there was like um, two clearance stick reduced stickers it was originally, the refills were originally $7.49, and I'm not sure, I guess it looks like in April, they marked it down. Let's see if I can figure out what the price was in April. And so I would have seen it, I think, yeah, no, it was marked down, let's see, can I figure out their date? I don't know. Looks like an April date, possibly, and then a March date on top. So maybe I don't understand how they do their markdowns. But let's see. It went down from seven forty nine down to ten. Looks like ten seventy four. And no, it can't be ten seventy four. Three seventy four. That's what it went down to. All right, girl, what kind of pricing are you doing there? Okay, so originally $7.49, then it went down to $3.74, and maybe a month later, they marked it down to $1.49, which was when I saw it the second time. I think I saw it the first time, and I thought, $3.74, that's a lot for me to consider um, spending on something that I didn't know anything about. Or how I would even begin to use it. So I left it. When I came back and it was a dollar forty-nine, I was like, okay. And these were the colors they had. And so I picked those colors up. And then in the stamp pad section, they had the stamp pad was originally $12.59. And I guess I hadn't opened this one, so the I don't know. Let's see. Can I peel it off again ah, and see what it was reduced to first? Uh -huh. Let's see. Uh -huh. They marked it down about 50% down to $6.29. And so when I came back, it was $2.50. So I thought, I'll buy them at $2.50. So I picked up one of each of the colors that they had left. And then I was like, man, too bad I didn't look at it and know anything the first time. So I kind of had some fun with the, um, with the inks. And what I did was just experimenting with what I had. I took a rubber stamp that I had and I mashed it in the black and then I just stamped around. I think I take it back. I think what I initially did was um, I poured some of the the ink from the bottle. I was trying to match some of the colors from um, Juneteenth because I thought possibly I would create some jewelry for the Juneteenth celebration 
and I wanted some liberation colors. So I used these liberation colors, the yellow, the red, and the green, to kind of make a background. And so I just use, you know, this kind of brush to make a little background. And so I came up with a little background. And once I had the background, I took my um, black, the black ink, and then I just stamped the image all around. And I looked at it and I said, well, they said with sublimation, the colors aren't going to be so bright. But once you sublimate it, they would brighten up. I thought I was going to get a chance to sublimate this um, at a makerspace, but I didn't get a chance to get to the makerspace. So I didn't get a chance to sublimate. And let me step away for a sec. away for a sec to find another board that I did eventually sublimate but I'm not sure where I put it I had another little test pattern to see if it would work and you might hear my mother in the background <laughs> she's 100 so she kind of whispers to herself sometimes words of encouragement so this was the first pattern that I made and um, I'm going to sublimate it a little later but after I had these ink pads and inkers, re-inkers, I found out that there were even sublimation markers and I was like wow they have sublimation markers and I said, ooh, I got to get me some of those. So I bought these 18 colors from um, Amazon. And um, I'll try to go back and get a link and put it down in my description for this um, video. But um, I did use them a little bit on the other um, sample that I made that I can't seem to find right now. But... Um, they work nice and so what I thought I would do today is take my black ink and take this flower that I had and I'm trying to figure out what would be considered you know what I'm just gonna this was a new stamp and I probably should have rubbed it with an eraser to make sure that it picked up the ink but it did pick up the ink nicely okay so what I'm gonna do is um, throw some of these flowers randomly on this paper and I also found out that I was like when I bought the ink pads, I was like, oh, I might need some sublimation paper. So while I was at Hobby Lobby, I did buy some sublimation paper, only to later on found and find out from reading and doing a little more research that with this kind of ink, you really don't need the sublimation paper. It says to do it on regular paper. Later on, I might experiment and see what happens if I do use the sublimation paper. But right now, this is just regular copy paper that I had for my um, printer that I've been using up slowly but surely. Let's see, I think I want one here. So, I will try to speed this up because I'm not sure you want to watch me coloring and stamping. So, 
So, yep, yep, yep. Okay. And, oh, I've got another piece of paper here. Te technically, when I think about it, I should have done some off of my page. Okay, let's see. I am back with <laughs> what I finished coloring. And for a pattern on a dress or something, this is great. Something large, this is great. But I usually make small jewelry. And I'm thinking my design is a little too big too much white space and I'm not sure what to do about compensating the white space see like in this one you know I kind of colored some stuff in the background I guess I could do that again Ooh. with um, some greens and some yellows possibly Oh, I don't know. I like this. And maybe what I should do is cut it in half. And keep half this way. And experiment with um, coloring in the background on the other half. So let's see. If I get a pair of scissors and do that. Can I do that? Can I do that? No. Uh, yes. So let's see. I want to cut it in half. And I think I'm going to fold it in half. And then cut it on the fold. So let's see. And, um,. I definitely had to fold it in half because I can't cut that straight or that accurate. So I'm going to put that there. And what did I say? Color some yellows and greens in the background and can I use a different color? Hmm. But see this will be like, like that. And I don't know if I want that. Mm, light green. I can't tell the difference in the greens. I don't know. What can I do? Ooh, 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 ooh. Having, having. Well, I think I'll do that. do that I don't know let's see so I know some people are screaming at me like girl what are you doing I don't know I'm experimenting and if you don't play an experiment then you kind of live in fear of making huge mistakes and then you kind of don't do 
and I've sat in some valleys of not doing because I was afraid of what it would look like whether or not it would be accepted and then while I sat in those valleys other people were experimenting and they were coming up with similar things that I was thinking of and I was like look girl if you stepped out on faith about yourself you could have been in that space creating and sharing so I used a different green for my leaf so I'm not sure how different it will be when um, you see I added some um, ladybugs I had some flies but I was like I don't want no flies I don't want no flies flies often get on my nerves you know like late at night you're in bed flies and mosquitoes you're in bed and you trying to sleep and you're not bothering anybody and it just buzzes past your ear <laughs> that just drives me crazy 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 okay um so I have I have my two backgrounds this is not bad and I think when I go to laminate excuse me sublimate when I go to sublimate I'm gonna sub sublimate this one first and look at this before I sublimate this one so I'm gonna put my two pages there and like I had said earlier that um, at one point I thought I was going to be able to um, do some sublimating at the makerspace um, in my town in Salisbury, Maryland, but um, I didn't get to the makerspace. And so I decided that since I was going to let me see if I can raise this up some my camera cuz this box is big since I decided that I was gonna try some sublimating I went on and bought this easy heat press I picked it up from Walmart cuz I was in Wally World area <laughs> and it was like $85 and I, I kind of have an, an adversion. Is that the word I want to use? I, I try not to spend a lot of my big dollars with Cricut. Because me and Cricut kind of had an argument a number of years ago. And it's kind of like null and void now. But when it happened I was really disappointed in Cricut and I promised myself that I wouldn't spend my dollars with Cricut so I did not purchase the Cricut heat press and I bought this one from HTV and I as after I purchased it I did some research on it first of all it was much cheaper than the Cricut one and so I was like hey this is in my price range this was 80 like I said $85 I think the one Cricut about the same size was like 150 or something like that maybe $200 or something I can't remember exactly so don't hold me to my um, amounts I just knew that this was $85 and it was less and so I purchased it and um, after I did the research I find out that um, this one has a feature where you can press down on it and it will tell you how many pounds of pressure you are applying whereas the Cricut does not do that and when I discovered that this did that I was like oh that's kind of nice I like that you know like right here it says six pounds so I think if it's resting it's six pounds but if you're holding it it will tell you how much pressure you are applying 
So I went on and purchased this. And since I got that, I was like, okay, I'm into sublimating. I'm going to need a couple of other things. So I went on and got this um, heat pad from Amazon because by then I was home and um, I knew I needed a heat press. And I picked up some gloves also from Amazon. And these gloves even had um, a, a little liner, you know, disposable liner that I could use. And I was like, oh, surprise. I can't remember the price, but I thought it was a very good price. And I thought I was getting one pair, but I got two pairs. So I have that. And um, I guess while I was at Walmart, because that's a Walmart sticker, I found this, and this is their fusible ink um, transfer sheet, so this is their sublimating paper or design, and I thought, well, you know what, I, I can always experiment with this and maybe mess up some stuff with this, so I picked this up because it was in the clearance section. You know, now you know, I love the clearance section. This was, um four dollars and I just picked this up because I was like I don't know what color this one is I haven't opened it yet oh it's brown okay it's brown so yeah so as you know my first name full first name is Cassandra um yes Cassandra will be sublimating and I'm not buying a printer yet but with my little inks and markers, I should be able to come up with some things that I like, that I can use, that are 100% my design. So, I hope you will come back and see what I end up creating. Give me some comments. Let me know. Let me know because I'm just trying to rebuild my channel again or really build it. Um, I was out here before, but um, I haven't been really regular. But I'm going to try to start being regular. Um, because I am, one way or another, I am always creating. And so, now I will be jumping down that rabbit hole called sublimation. <laughs> okay. Um, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. Click on that bell button because then you'll know exactly, it will notify you exactly when I have uploaded new content. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Toodaloo.